What's up? <clears throat> What's up, everybody? This is um, take four of the. Yeah. Take four of all of that. We're dealing with the hyperdimensional um, matrix cube. Listen, I have understood before I get into the explanation dot 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 of what I figured out for you all to understand more easily so that the world could have less frustration or less <laughs> um, hyper reactiveness to this ascension process. Because look what I figured out. I'm going to give you one word for this and I'm going to explain later on. I'm going to first just say that. So dealing with the hyperdimensional cube of consciousness expansion on an accelerated rate. Now, I put see accelerated is um what's happening to our the consciousness it's happening to the consciousness of all of us so we're in a six dimensional hyper dimensional consciousness i'm there now and dealing with this consciousness i understood six plus one equals seven you add see look i'm gonna show you and um pause the screen right now So you get a, so you get a, um, you get a, you get this briefing, right? You get this right here. You get to see what's going on and and and, and examine it, and you're gonna see more of what I'm talking about. Cause when you see what you're seeing, different ways of seeing it from different perspectives or different consciousness, um, the, the uh, yeah, dimension, dimensional consciousness. Listen, listen. All right. Now, when you pause the screen, make sure you look at that. And um, I might have to take a screenshot, if anything. So, I broke it down. Which is, this is take four. There's no music involved. This is basically on a six-dimensional consciousness. You don't really need music at that point. You, it, it, it. Where am I at? So, I broke down three, six, nine. Third-dimensional to six-dimensional to ninth-dimensional consciousness. When you're dealing with the, um, and I'm going to show you this too. I wrote this down, drew this too. Where you at, boo? Come here. Wait, 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 wait. Skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it. Oh, yeah, it was on the same page. <laughs> yeah, so. Right. I'm saying here third dimensional mastery uh, of limitation I mean from limitation not of limitation but from limitation it's third dimensional mastery when a man, a man or a woman any you know soul basically so 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 ascension processes through the fourth dimensional barrier of limitation it's a shift a transition I put barrier shift or transition within the process of ascension. Once you get to more um, self-mastery beyond the fourth dimensional expansion of consciousness, then you go into the fifth dimensional unity field of consciousness dealing with, you know, on a third dimensional perspective, we're still in like, we're still on third dimensional earth, but there's a, there's, the energy is shifting, allowing us to express and expand our, our vibrational frequency. So I had to come down to that third dimensional level to see where y'all at, and y'all know where I'm at coming from that. Now, coming from a six-dimensional, hyper-dimensional perspective, you're going to understand your sixth sense is open, openly, wide open. And you're, understand, you're understanding things and seeing things. Uh, you're understanding and seeing this perspective of how to truly create more and more beyond limitation. See, I'm going to give you a concept. I'm going to just show you, man has created a water bottle, right, or a marker, right, you can see a marker, you can examine it, in a six dimensional perspective, listen to this, huh, I'm going to show you what I did, you got to screenshot that too, pause the screen for this, 
And you're going to see on the, on the left hand side where my thumb, my middle finger is at. This is how you can look at how um, uh, communication or the letters of abbreviations or numerology, any kind of um, formats of communication, you know, kind of code language stuff. You can use it to expand your, your mind, your consciousness, the vibration. You can use it to create anything in this world. Anything beyond this world, too. Anything you wish. And this is just a simple uh, formula. You can create your own. But this is like the breakdown. Basic breakdown is what we already have. That's already given to us. Is the alphabets, language, numbers. All that came from a higher dimension. Now, understanding that, you know it came from a sixth dimensional consciousness. Perspective. How? Listen to this vibration I'm about to share with you. I'm going to say a simple word, and people use it all the time, make them feel better. Hi. 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 <laughs> what happened? A reaction. I'm going to just, I'm going to give it all away. You're going to, you, 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 we, we use this every day, but not really aware of doing most of it, but we do it every day. When someone says hi, you make a smile as a reaction naturally. How? <laughs> simple. The vibration itself, from I'm, I was going to break that down too, but it's already somewhere on the YouTube, I mean, internet somewhere, where uh, the, the, the vibration frequency, the vibrational frequency of sounds and the words that we say emit uh, a, a, a reaction, an, an expression, an effect, cause and effect, but a reaction innately to give us a, a certain feeling back to us and make us feel a certain way. See what I'm saying? So... Use these abbreviations. Say, check this. You understand, man? You see what I'm saying? I, I put, I put the word can. Now, <laughs> I abbreviate it, and I put consciously aware. Now, the the word can. I can do it. You see what I'm saying? I'm consciously aware now. So, using the acronyms C A N, I utilize that and. Change the words a little bit, and I use it for my my benefit. Why? Because I'm gonna show you. As those who are on that, I'm gonna run this drum back. <laughs> I don't make it too harsh, but you get the idea. You know what I'm saying? You're so, you, you're like, yes, yes, I finally got the key. Yes. All right, you want to screenshot that too, right now, and this right here. Um, there we go. Ah, there we go. Alrighty, yes, yes. You hear me now? So, right. <laughs> you already know the chakra system. You know the code. I gave you the code in the, in the um. What is that word? The pre. It's like a movie. I forgot the word. I, I really don't know how to say the word right now. I'm pre, it's something that's not letting me do that or say that. Um, anyway, number one is the chakra system. Rootness, the root chakra, groundedness, stability. Number two, sexual energy, senses, um, creativity, um, sacral chakra. You know, your, your genitals, your, uh, your um, gender, the law, the universal law of gender. Number three, self empower, self empoweredness, willpower, good judgment. So people talk about God is going to judge us or test us. No, you are all testing yourselves to get back to God, to the source. And how you do it is your your way of doing it. And through the fourth dimensional unified field of consciousness, you go through the the fourth pathway or chakra or expansion or um, can have these or ums. Elevated consciousness. You go from the third three. So the fourth, fourth chakra, which is the heart, and you experience true love, and that's more expansion of your own self and the um, God within you. Then number five, you have clear communication, clear speaking, true speaking, true expression of self. All this is, is yourself. That's God. Now, I had to say it like that. Um, number six, that's dealing with five, is dealing with the throat chakra. So I had to say it like that. Number six is the third eye dealing with um, self-awareness and um, clear seeing, true sight, 
um, intuition, right? And clairvoyance, psychic abilities, psi. So it has that number I in there, or you know, I, I like high. So it makes you feel a little, a little more. Like you can, you can, you can, you kind of relax a little bit. You can, you can get some more air. You can expand more. You can, you can feel some more. You know, other vibrations. You know what I'm saying? I, I, number seven, though, you got to know that. You know what I'm saying? Is the crown chakra. It is that I. You know? Did you hear that? So that's the seven crown chakra. Boom. Five said it. Now, um, that's God within you. That's yourself. That's the self, thyself. And that stands for with my, my abbreviation. I'm saying, I know. I understand. I get it. You know what I'm saying? And then through those levels, you keep going up and up. And um, more self-mastery to who you truly are more and more and more every time. Every time, meaning as, as much as it's kind of the time, the clock goes to left, right, or whatever. Number one, number two, number three, one o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, twelve o'clock. And then you you got to reset because you, 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 you're kind of tired, but you, you, you know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta recharge because you got another day to keep going. And the next day, they, they go by another time to do what you got to do. So, on a multidimensional consciousness. Explaining all of this, boy, I tell you, I wasn't trying to go too far because I understood that if I went too far and tried to skip seven to eight, I'd mess myself up. That's why I put ditto right here for, um, where is that at? Ditto for barrier shift and transition. See, the seventh, sixth dimensional consciousness to the seventh dimensional consciousness. You got to take one step at a time. Or you'll fuck up. Like if you're trying to run and you trip over something, it's meant to happen that way. Why? To scrape your knee and then you realize, damn, that hurt. Oh, man. Because it made you, it made you, when you fell, you tripped your knee, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you hit a rock. It made you slow down. So it made you calm down a little bit. You ain't got to go that fast, bro. Come on. Chill. So me understanding six dimensional consciousness is that hyper, when you hear that word high, the vibration understands, I see that it's, it's, it's a high note, it's very high vibrational, no doubt about it. And those who want to stay in that dimension, you got to understand, you got you to gotta relax. You don't want to go too, you don't want to be in that vibration or frequency or that dimension for too long because you're still, like I said, going through the, the, the shifts. You're still trying to master this stuff and you got to learn, you know, time for Saturn. Day is, today is Saturn, Sat, uh, Saturday. So that's your recharge time. When you come back down, like when you scrape your knee type shit. So that gave you a pause break. It gave you a break. Take five. Like, hey, I gotta, I gotta take a break, bro. Or take 15. <laughs> Anytime, you know, whenever you're ready. Type shit. So, when you get ready to go again, like I'm back in the sixth dimensional, hyper dimensional consciousness. So now, this is how that works. That's why everybody keeps going up and down. It's a fluctuation of energy because how people really want to do it is go as fast as possible. And sometimes they want to go too far and then they eventually hurt and scrape their knee. That's consciousness. That's expansion of awareness. That's what I'm saying. Hyperdimensional. You got to chill, bro. Because you don't want to go too fast. Also, with that turbulence, it's turbulence times two plus one. Then with unity consciousness and interdimensional consciousness, um, when accelerated in expansion of consciousness. Oh. <laughs> Heart chakra. Throat chakra. Four, five. And then third eye. Six dimension. See what I'm saying? So, we're already on this bandwidth. Don't get it wrong. It's just that when we come back to this third dimensional polarity, we gotta understand that, you know, we're still here kind of sorta. But when this thing barrier shifts on a, on, a, on a more galactic, bigger, like, okay, you got one, one circle, two circle, 
three circle. If I drew that right now, what kind of car symbolizes that circle? I think it's a Mercedes. Like Mercedes. Um, the Vesica Pisces. You got a circle here, a circle here. That's actually two circles, but in actuality, you got to have one more circle. If you want to make it look like this, you can in your own way. Um, if you want to make it look like this, to unify it, then it'll look more presentable. And that there, you keep making more circles, and it cre creates a flower of life. So, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. The original way of doing things is already the blueprints. We already have it. Some people try to create their own, and they go too fast. And that's that hyperdimensional energy telling you to slow down, bro. Chill, relax. We're gonna get there. Don't jump the gun, bro. <laughs> So that's why everybody keep going crazy, this, that, and the third with people's energy and, and turbulence on your back and stressing yourself out. That's all that is because you want to jump the gun. You know you have a limitation, but you want to push it, push it, push it. But take your time because that's what the unity consciousness is for, you know. And also, I got this jump. Yeah. Fourth dimensional expansion of consciousness. Fifth dimensional unifying consciousness. Um, interdimensional consciousness is the fifth dimension. Um, yeah. So when you get to the sixth dimensional consciousness, you gotta relax though, in your in your time. You know you got you got you can do it. You can do it. So that's what I put the C A T. I mean C C A N for. You can create your own. All right. So in the sixth dimensional consciousness, there's an energetic turbulence. You got turbo now to accelerate because you have you have a um. It's like turbo, turbo speed, <laughs> six dimensional hyper dimensional consciousness. It's like you have a jet pack. <laughs> like you got, you can just whenever you want at will because you've mastered three plus three equals six. The third dimensional mastery, ascension process from three to four. And the, the, the in between three and four is the barrier of shift, or the barrier of space and time or whatever, the shift. It's the breakthrough, it's the, sh the transition. So uh, you, you guys get the picture. I ain't got to do too much right there. <sighs> so I'm just giving you guys some more understanding from a different perspective on a unifying level of consciousness. A fifth dimensional a fifth dimensional, a fifth dimensional way of explaining this so you get a better understanding. And once you go from six to seven, I guess my hypothesis, <laughs> my theory, would be that you have figured out and mastered this equation of accelerating your consciousness using turbo speed which is a six dimensional boost um times two plus one okay so that'll that'll help you what the eighth right here symbolizes i understand from my um tattoos and bashar him speaking he understands things and explains things in on a, on a quasi quasi-dimensional level. It's an eighth-dimensional consciousness. You don't want to go there right now. Right there, right now. No, it's not happening. Because you're not ready. You haven't passed You haven't passed the six-dimensional lessons or whatever expansion thing you got to go through right now. So if you're there, you're there. If you're not, you got to slow it down, bro. Relax. Chill. And that's what that relapse. Relax. If you switch the, word, the words around, you can even say relax or relapse. So that's why it comes back and back and around, or we go up and up and up, or whatever that thing says here. If you want to think about um this 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 thing here, you have a cycle, a cycle, and you go around and you go this way and you go this way, and then you always come back to where you at to, to perfect your thing. That's all I have for now, y'all. Hey. You guys want to see this one more time? I got I got more coming, and I'm just excited. Also, excitement is a, a six-dimensional hyper-dimensional energy, so it, it kind of fluctuates your fifth-dimensional energy, making you feel like things are stressing you out. But it's really your wings on your back, because once it physicalizes, you can have you know that turbo like you like you know you got. It's turbulence. You use it on a more you you use that better. You're gonna you're gonna be able to levitate, no doubt. And that C A N, meaning consciously aware now, it'll turn into something else. 
in a matter of time. But time is no equation on a fourth dimensional perspective. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right. Okay, I want to show you guys one more thing. Okay. And then I'm about to go off this and do some more of my little things that I do. Because I had to wait for the perfect time for this. I got it now. You guys see that? This is actually two in one. I want to show you guys this more and more importantly to explain and describe what's going on here. So you get a better understanding. Take a screenshot of that. It's basically pause your screen <laughs> type stuff. You know, relax, chill yourself a minute, a minute to breathe, let your consciousness, you know, soak that in. Don't keep rushing and rushing, trying to jump the gun. Um, by the way, everything is consciousness or energy, frequency, vibration, whatever you want to say, same thing. Um, hi, like I said, it's a smiley face, it makes you feel like, hi. And then what I, my abbreviation for that was H and I, I put, he's in, get it? He's in, because from a different perspective, on a hyperdimensional, eighth dimensional perspective, like if there was other terrestrial beings or extraterrestrial beings there or some civilization, you're on that, they'd be like, yeah, he's in there. It'd be like a hit, because you would have a add, you would add the T in there. You get what I'm saying, man? <laughs> this is real shit. <laughs> I'm gonna put that after though, but I get what I'm saying. Some people say take a hit. It's going in there. You know what I'm saying? And that makes you feel high when you wave your hands high. You know what I'm saying? Okay. H-E-L-L-O. What does that say? How do you feel about that? Hello. Now, that's, that's, from, that's from a different perspective. Because now, I didn't want to unify it. I mean, I wanted to unify it, but the vibration itself and its signature with the smiley face, when I said hi, there's two ways you can look at it. So the unifying way of looking at it would be the vibrational reaction. From saying the word hi, now hello, any way you want to say it, hello, or hello, <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay. Hello, I said, what I wrote here, I said, her eyes look lovely. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it got you with the two, the, sac the shaker, sacral chakra. Shake it, shake it. You know, shake with me. All right. And that's the that's level of consciousness there. So it kind of brings you back down. But you know how to jump up when you need to on a six dimensional frequency when your third eye is open you can do it um with this game here god showed me this i'm gonna say it that way <clears throat> Ooh. unify field of consciousness so <laughs> i really want to show you while i'm saying it this pen out baby okie dokie so I wrote number one, number one through nine. Number one through nine. This is a guy playing a game. Now, um, the game is called Whack-A-Mole. You ever go to a carnival, you whack, you got to whack the mole, or you got to hit that little, that, you got to hit that thing, that you got to hit your hammer, your sludge hammer, as hard as you can on this, um, this slammer thing. You just got to make the bell, you got to make this thing go up, 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 and it, if it hits the bell, you win a prize. You see how that game goes? Um, what I put for here, just to exp not to jump to conclusion, but in this way, in this way, the game here, you can make any game you want. See what I'm saying? Hit the nail in the wall. It's your game, or whatever game you want to play. Now, G A M no wait, G A M E. It says game. So, you know the game. G A M E, since it stands for God always makes easy. 
Does that make sense? You see that? God always makes easy. So I put 3, 6, 9. So 3 to 6 to 9. Dealing with consciousness, though. I'm not talking about just to talk about nothing, social media shit. I'm talking about consciousness. Ascension. So with the alphabets expressing this with numerology, you get a better understanding that from 1 to 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you, you kind of can't come over here with this line here. So when you see this right here, this is where I'm at. It says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right here. And I'm going here to solidify from, from 6, 7, 8. It's, a, it's kind of below the 8th dimensional level of consciousness. So I'll be dealing with the 7th dimensional consciousness because I'm on the 6th dimensional right now. And I came with this to give you guys that. Um, yeah, that makes sense, right? So that's all I have for today. Um, in the meantime, stay up. Hi. All right. Bye. I'll see y'all later. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> it's the premiere. That's what it was supposed to be called. That's the word for it. Premiere. Thank you for watching. This is the take two, no, take four of Premiere. Um, with the hyperdimensional, um, breaking down the hyperdimensional matrix. All right. Anything added on to that? Feel free, feel feel free for real, for for real. Feel free to comment and um, give you all, give me you all your insight on that, on other things if you want. But yeah, take four. I'm out here.